All right, so what we got in here are white-tailed deer. Um, I was just reading the plaque, and they are also original to this zoo when the zoo opened. Um, part of their exhibit at that time was over where the black bears were. Um, sorry, the train's behind me. I don't know if you can hear me, but yeah. So this is the white-tailed deer exhibit. I do know there is a male, but I don't. I think all three of them right now. Male does not have his antlers. Uh, this might be a male if, if I look at it closely. Zoom in on the head. It, yeah, it looks like this is a male, but also in with the white-tailed deer, a turkey vultures. Right there. Did you know that Ben Franklin wanted the turkey vult, turkey vulture, the turkey? Yeah, I'm sorry, the turkey. Ben Franklin wanted the turkey to be our national symbol instead of the. Uh, bald eagle let's see here right there are the turkeys I'm gonna zoom in on the turkeys there they are there's one two three I see and it looks like they are separated from the deer for the winter so let's go up here and more. but yeah right there the turkey let's go up here you got some up against the gate here the fence and here's the turkey Turkeys hear the train. The, tra the train um, track is right behind the zoo in the park, so you're gonna you'll hear that ever so often. I'm wondering. Uh, all right, let's all right, go. So we're at the porcupine exhibit, and I want to point something out. This is a big myth, and I want to point this out to you. Porcupines cannot shoot their quails. Okay it's just a myth they do not shoot their quails that said let's check out the porcupine up there in the tree is the porcupine it is a rodent which i did not know so it's related to your mouse and rats so yep yeah, this porcupine is always up in this tree even in the summertime i try you can't get the head of it but he is just up here chilling checking things out seeing what everybody else is doing you can see the wolves in the background. One other nice thing about this park is you can see a lot of the other animals in the background. This wolf is just checking everything out, looking and saying, where did everybody go? So yeah, this is the porcupine. He's always up in this tree. We'll just zoom out here, get a little more look of the porcupine. And then we're going to go right back here a few feet and see the uh, last two animals. So I don't think the American Martin is out. I don't see. Usually they're both. Usually one one stays down here and one stays the other part, but they're not out. Um, so they must be in their room, back in their night room, night house, just chilling. But they are not out. Let's see. I do also want to point something else out. This right here, where the Canadian Lynx is used to be where the bear exhibit was but then they moved the bear exhibit down to where, where we just saw our Canadian lynx is in here I there it is back up they're way back up there sleeping getting the nap doesn't want to be bothered he's on his way her way sleeping the day away all right guys that does it for the zoo we are going to actually go over to chocolate world and check out the progress on chocolate town so we'll see you in a little bit all right as you can see we're over here at chocolate world we're gonna check out construction on a uh, new chocolate town and see if there's anything last time I was here they were just uh, digging up dirt so let's go see what uh, if there's anything different or new or what we can see with this new uh, project that they're Hershey Park's doing all right see you in a bit okay the first thing I noticed is they moved the barricades back they moved the uh, fence back where they're doing construction. Um, one thing to know is that the new tram stop is actually being moved back this far and then the new um, entrance is gonna be down around there. Um, we're gonna go over, see if we can get a better look, but so far, all it is is there looks like they're just moving dirt. They're gonna end up flattening all this out, making it even, but this, this will be the new uh, tram stop area. Let's uh, 
head up over here and see what we can see. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna take a shortcut. We're gonna go through the, no, we're not. We're gonna go walk around the regular way. Um, it's kind of busy here today. There is a Hershey Bears game and looks like there was a chair competition over at the old arena, so. Over here, you see Sky Rush in the back. We might go in the chocolate world. I don't know yet. He said it is really busy today. That's when I get mad at you. Ooh, how you like this bush? Okay, so I want to show you something. Entrance to Hershey, to Hershey's Chocolate World, and right over here is the construction. Now, you see it goes on pretty much all the way down to ooh, the old building where the uh, Skyride used to be, the turnaround house. But yeah, they, it doesn't look like they've there is a new building right there. It looks like it's going to be for tickets. That might be temporary. I'm not sure. I do know there is also a temporary entrance into the park for this year. But this is a two-phase project. The first phase is Chocolate Town. And then they're going to build building a roller coaster. If we go inside Chocolate World, we might see a bit more. But the only thing I really see right now is this, is this building right here that's unfinished. And they really haven't started flattening out the land. So let's... Uh, Walk in the chocolate world and see on the other side. Okay, so here we are on the other side. You can't see much from over here. They have they have that fencing up where you can't see in. But it's it's going to be a pretty big project. It's a two year project. Uh, twenty twenty is when Chocolate Town will open, and then twenty twenty one, I believe, is when the new roller coaster will open. So it's a two phase project. Two years it will be done. Um, like I said, you can't really see anything from over here, so. Um, I guess we'll uh, check in on it at another time. Right, guys, that's it for the day. We saw what we could see. We went to the zoo, came over here, checked out construction on Chocolate Town. So uh, it's, it was a pretty good day, pretty good evening, good afternoon, or what, you know, afternoon, evening. So hey, enjoy your day and uh, go have fun.